Hassan based? I can't believe I'm saying this, chat. But Hassan won a debate. And from what I've heard, he didn't just win a debate. He fucking dominated a debate against a conservative, a popular and well-beloved conservative. Fucking humiliated the guy from what I've heard. So I've not seen this. All I've heard is people just absolutely freaking out over it, talking about how well he did, um, talking about how it's, uh, you know, a surprising, rare Hassan W. And uh, frankly, I'm all here for it. Listen, I love a good redemption story. Maybe Hassan is on a path to... Listen, honestly, my biggest, biggest frustration with Hassan Piker would honestly have to be the way that it feels as though he is too spineless and too attached to the idea of being, like, a beloved, popular, like, non-controversial lefty figure, that he doesn't really filter, like, the tankies or the real stupid dumb fucks out of his community. So, who knows? Maybe he'll get... Maybe he'll start doing that. Maybe, maybe that will happen. Maybe he'll start engaging in some moderation. But unfortunately, you don't get as big as him by moderating your community strictly, to be fair. Uh, regardless, though, very rare Hassan W. has just happened. Apparently, Hassan AB debated Andrew Tate. I believe Andrew Tate is this uh, uh, conservative fuckboy who got, like, the last time I, like, I remember hearing about him for the first time because he was the guy who did the AOC big booty girl whatever that was him right that was the that was Andrew Tate that's somebody is that somebody else he's in the manosphere no i'm pretty sure that's him alex stein oh different guy i'm sorry listen these fucking white conservative guys all look the same to me i'm so sorry they're all so basic and and they all have this really <laughs> They all look the same. I'm sorry, what can I say? I'm a racist. I am a racist. And I'm admitting to it on stream right now. As a racist, I cannot tell them apart. Uh, that said, though, uh, I actually don't know what Andrew Tate is popular for. Isn't he just some, like, crazy fucking manosphere incel guy? Andrew Tate raped someone and fled to Romania? Okay, I assume we'll be able to put two and two... <laughs> I assume we'll be able to put two and together, two and two together by watching the debate. Here I have Hasanabi debates Andrew Tate uncut. Bigger, longer, and uncut. Let's watch. I'm excited. Welcome to capitalism, my dude. We're actually gonna turn it on. One piece thirty-four asterisk has donated five dollars. Hey, thank you, One Piece. I really appreciate the five dollars. Based. Um I will read donos later though. Uh in the meantime though. I turn it up to 1.5 speed. Let's get right to it. I had to have those tests. There are obviously large events, big gatherings on the South Lawn. Not every individual who would gather for that would need to. Okay, hold on. I'm getting in the call right now, chat. Hold up. All right, Hassan. Hurricane, you go to the man. There's a war, you go to the men. So men who have not been through trauma are not very good. Yo. Men, okay, see, with trauma. Wait, pause right there, though, Andrew, because you said when you go to war, you go to the men. But the only reason you have a war is because of men and their lack of awareness about their own feelings. That's why war exists in the first place. If you had more women leaders, we wouldn't even have war. If we had more women leaders, we wouldn't even have war. Men literally are responsible for war by a lack of emotional awareness. That's how it starts. Wow, already we're... Already we're... we're... Okay, so is it Andrew Tate, the the Manosphere incel guy, versus that soy-facing, pussy-hat-wearing, I'm-still-with-her shirt-wearing cuck boy? Is that what that debate was until Hassan dropped in? Okay. Let's make this the final point before we move on. You uh -huh. just said that if all the leaders were women, we wouldn't even have war. You I, I said if we had more women leaders, yes, there would okay. be less war. The fact that you hate your own gender so much is quite amazing to me. But I don't me hate my own gender. See, see, why do you, why do you? Let me tell you why. No. What a fucking 
battle we are witnessing. Oh my god. This is yin and yang colliding. Holy shit. Look at this fucking pickup artist. Okay, let me just say, having this next to him might be... Th this is very gay. Having this next to him is very gay. All I can think about is the fact that right after he cuts off the cameras, he turns around and he just gives this thing a smooch. Uh, but on top of that... um, Listen, okay, conservative... I will get into the data that proves conservatives are gay later in the stream. However, versus the pink-haired, mega-white gill... I, by the way, I said he'd be wearing a pussy hat. I said he'd be wearing a pussy hat, but he dyed his hair to look like he's permanently wearing one. So I... How correct was I? Oh, no, no, no. No, you don't get to gaslight me and tell me I hate my own gender just because I'm displaying a, 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 a version of manhood that you're uncomfortable looking at. Right? You don't get to, you don't get to say I hate my gender or that I'm weak because I present a version of manhood that has struggled just like you, that has conquered just like you, but is out, lives outside the idealized patriarchy that was sold to me. You don't get to gaslight me because you're uncomfortable. Cool. You, love man man. That I you love men. You love men. Cool. The point I'm making is you're saying that the world wouldn't have a war. Dude, you leader. are backed up against the wall. Wait, 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 wait. No, chill, 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 chill. Let, yeah, T, have his fun. Let, right. let T have his final statement. Then we're going to wrap this up and get someone else in. Right. Yo, I'm, I'm in here right now. I just got to fix my camera. One second. Right. Yeah, you're chilling. Just try to fix it. Oh, do son, a let's go, man. Do I appreciate you, I'm interested in seeing what the chat thinks. The reason you're totally wrong saying that the world would have no, less war if there was no female leaders is because if you actually ask anybody who's been in the corporate world for long enough, the companies that have the most arguments, the most difficult corporate structures to deal with, in fact, even if you ask most women, they say, I don't like having a woman boss, I'd rather work for a man. When you have a whole bunch of women in charge, it's nothing but a fucking bitch fest and it's a shit show. Every single fucking person who's ever worked in corporate knows that. Every single person who's ever worked in the world knows that. That women actually, as beautiful as they are and they're good at lots of different things, they would perhaps... Hold on, chat. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Okay. Not perhaps. They would prefer to work for a male boss because it's a stronger, more clear leadership structure. Having a bunch of women in charge of countries is not going to make a fucking peaceful world. And the fact you believe that shows your entire Dude. mental world is fucked. I'd like yeah. to actually put a poll in the chat see, and let's see who dude, agrees with you, who agrees will, with me. Why will we take a poll in the chat? Of course. Of okay. This should go without saying, but the idea that if the whole world was run by women, there would be no war is actually in and of itself, I would argue, misogynistic. Women are not some higher beings that are immune to the pressures and the inevitabilities of large groups of people building governments and, and having resources they need to supply resources, different ideological differences, whatever reasons people go to war over to fight. Like, that's not how that works. Like, just because women were running, would be running. Th like, I'm sorry, but wasn't one of the most like feared and, and most like highest body count, like, like conquerors ever that one lady who literally ordered her soldiers to tie uh uh like a bunch of like to capture the city birds and tie like flames to like flaming tinder to them and release them in the city to burn the whole city down like women in history have committed war crimes that involve entire yeah olga of kiev literally just just war crimes going back centuries ago okay like women have done some have gate gate gatekeep girl boss gatekeep boss girl way too hard before okay there's been wait there's been some girl bosses that have gone way too hard in the past it's a really cringy talking point please don't say it it makes you look stupid of course tell me 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 hyper idealized manhood like right. they need to cling to that Okay, right, do you guys do you guys want me to here. do you guys want me to step in on this conversation or let's go. Let's go. No, no, we're not gonna, gonna do no two versus one bullshit. I'm like we're gonna wrap it up with Tommy and then you guys can go at it. <laughs> no two versus it. one bullshit? Yeah, you mean like the eight and Ross stream when uh just, anyway. Uh, XQC was getting fucking triple teamed. All right. I don't I don't
didn't want to say it. All right, I'm just a messenger. Let's not hate, no, but Tommy, let's not hate the messenger. Thank, thank you for coming on. Um, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on. We, I hope you have a safe flight, and I hope you, you know, enjoyed your time here. Dude, I did. I did. Andrew, take care, brother. Hassan, I just want to say praise to you, boss. I appreciate you, man, putting the word out there. Thank you, guys. Good to talk, Absolutely. bro. Have, have a good day. Uh, appreciate you coming on, Tommy. Have a good one, man. Cheers. Thank you. Wow, <clears throat> that, that was, was uh, quite the conversation. How do you feel about my guy, Tommy? I uh, Sorry, are you asking me? or the, yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew. On yeah. my way to nine. Uh, he's. I don't know him son. personally. I have nothing against him personally. His. He lives in. The, he's a new age thinker. He lives in the new think. The idea that the way. The yeah, I will say him having his sex doll in frame is a little bit distasteful. You. You. you you'd think he could have. You'd think he could have put that away, right? The world runs and has always you run. You won't be a able to see thing, him. I'm afraid. And that if we change everything from the ground up, it's somehow going to become a magically better place. Obviously, he has no proof or any references for his way of like Hassel, his way of thinking Hassel. because it's never been tested before. It's an untested theory. I think Wait, that I him, for him to come along and say such blanket statements that if we changed all the world leaders to women, there wouldn't be war is, is inane and asinine. I think for him to say that a man who's physically strong can't be mentally strong is also stupid. But I also understand why he's saying the ideas he's saying because he has a natural insecurity based on the fact that he's not a physical specimen of man. And the way he gets around it is to pretend that that's not important, which is fine. Lots of people do it, right? Stupid people saying being smart is not important. Poor people saying being rich is not important. It's a common defense mechanism that everybody does, and I completely understand it. However, most people with a basic grasp of economics and the way societies work would look at a society and say, you know what? A society with brave, strong men who are full of honor and duty is actually a better society than men who walk around saying, I have no duty to protect anybody or protect anything. And I is he trying to fake a British accent? I think he's actually trying to fake a British accent right now. No, he's half British, half American. That, that that's not how the, that's not how that works. Does he put sunscreen on his scalp? I'd fucking hope so. I could just sit around and cry all day, and and we're. And I mean, would, would would maybe I'd hope not. I don't know. Maybe I want him to get skin cancer on his scalp. I mean, you, you'd what? Yeah, if you if you shave your head, you should put sunscreen on your scalp. Yes. This theory is being tested in real time, right? America's quickly turning into the ladder, and we can see crime rates going through the roof. We can see all the fucking school shooting and all this stupid shit that's happening because men have no emotional control anymore. And that's what's going to happen. Please it's because society's going to degrade, me. and the countries where men still stick to their honor and their, their age-old expected ways of, of acting, are they're going to be a safer societies overall. So time will prove me right, but I have nothing against a guy. He's, he's fine. I think... Uh... Andrew and the previous person that was on the call are just two sides of the same coin. Uh, they're both wrong, and they're both kind of right in different ways. But thinking that this has anything to do with gender is silly, all right? It has nothing to do with gender. Women can be just as oppressive and as brutal as men can be. Hey, Ultimately, it has everything to do with capitalism, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the gender. Has slam, has slam, has the, slam. The assumption has that women slam, are going to be like hysterical. Uh, 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 they just want to hear him say everything's the fault of capitalism. That's all they want to hear. Uh, it's it's just it's the audience he shills to. It's the audience who he shills to. Is the audience that just wants to hear every problem ever that you could ever identify in our society is the fault of capitalism. Is capitalism responsible for shit tons of war and oppression? No doubt. Absolutely no doubt. In fact, if you want to even get a, a slight little glimpse into, into a little bit of the literal slavery that's happening around the world right now, you can go on YouTube and look at documentaries where things like, about things like where acai and where like a lot of the world's salt comes from and see how like native or indigenous peoples to the regions where these materials come from literally make their living collecting pounds and pounds and pounds of this shit a day get paid cents on the pound for it, and then it gets sold for, like, $10 an ounce in America or whatever. Acai is, like, a big example of this. I watched a documentary recently about how acai was made, and I was like, okay, this is slavery. This is just slavery. This is literally just slavery. They're paying them 30 cents a pound and then reselling acai for, like, $12 a bowl in America? What the fuck? This is slavery. There's no, you know, slave driver out there with a whip cracking it, but it's still, like, listen, I'm not going full lib on you, okay? I Welcome promise to capitalism, you. my dude. I'm not going full Xerox lib. got a tier Thank one you. asterisk subscription. I'm not going full lib on you or anything. However, war has existed 
war crimes have existed, or what we would categorize as war crimes have existed, and have been perpetuated by men and women long before capitalism, long before mercantilism, and frankly, probably before we even had the ability to trade amongst each other in large numbers and form larger economies. We've probably been w waging war against each other. So, it's not exactly everything to do with capitalism, okay? But let's be real here. I know, I know, I know you guys want to hear me say capitalism's the fault of everything, but war is not everything to do with capitalism. Derrickal across slam, the slam, board, that slam, kind of generalization slam, is just incorrect. And that's why, Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, as a matter of this? fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to anecdotes quite frequently and say things like, oh, well, it's just common sense, right? But it's not technically common sense. It's just cool. your That's personal fine. opinion. Completely. It's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience. Now, yeah. when I say these, well, yeah, exactly. And when I say these things, X amount of people agree with me and X amount of people disagree with me. That's fine. And that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I, but can say the world is, I can say the world is round and there'll be a percentage of people who disagree with me. That's totally and utterly fine. I come on here and talk about my own personal experiences and my experiences, men are better drivers than women. I'm not saying there's no. So this is a conservative cop out. Conservatives, when you are not confronting them over and over and over again, will frame their opinion, as he is saying now, as being straight up fact. Anyone who disagrees is subhuman, incorrect, and ought to feel like ashamed of themselves. In many cases, they agree anyone who disagrees uh, is deserving in uh, of harassment and of being dogpiled on the internet. Uh, they will act like their opinion is well-established, ir irrefutable 100 percent true fact in their videos and when they're not being pushed back against but when you get them into a debate when you get them into a call and you confront them on it all of a sudden it's just oh i just talked about my opinion these are just my thoughts my opinions on my show you can't hold me to account for anything i say because it's just my op thoughts and opinions how can you hold me to account for anything of it oh good Gee, female drivers i'm not saying a female can't no no no, no. you're misunderstanding what i'm saying there is a truth, and then there is your own personal experiences backed oh, no, by anecdotes, a, right? Yeah, there's, or there's your own personal I opinion know. backed by anecdotes from your own personal experiences. Now, your own personal experiences are oftentimes going to be incorrect and, and not close to the reality. That's why there's an entire field of statistical analysis. That's why we do empirical. Uh, that's why we rely on empirical evidence when we're making decisions. Why? Because. Xander Hall Tate is engaging in solipsism. I don't think he's engaging in solipsism. That's way too complicated and deliberate to be even close to what I think he's doing. I think what he's doing is simply just covering his ass. He knows he can't back up half the shit he's ever said in his videos. The guy's fucking insane. His, I, I think I've seen his TikToks before. Isn't he the guy that eats bull testicles in his TikToks? Raw bull testicles? in order to boost his testosterone. I'm pretty sure that's him. Yeah, like, listen, I literally have a over one pound porterhouse steak on the way that I'm going to eat after stream, okay? I love doing the ridiculously manly, like, I, I like to get a little extra char on it from the wood just to have that little bit of like nice smoky woody taste in it, okay? I like that kind of shit. But when you're at the point where like to get extra testosterone, before your workout, you're eating raw bull testicles. For the sake of getting the extra testosterone, why not just get T injections at that point? Why not just get on TRT? Like, I would rather take 50 jabs of a needle of, of testosterone in my ass every day than have to eat one raw bull testicle once. Can you fucking imagine? I, I'm sorry, I've heard people talk about how good raw bull testicle is. Like, I, I've heard that, like, organs can be pretty good. I've heard that, like, chitlins are pretty good. Um, like, I, I can't do it, though. I can't do it. I can't. I can't eat organs. Like, it just seems so gross to me.
Like, I just can't. I can't just snack on a bowl of fucking awful. Because we Let's all go, carry a bunch of Rando. personal biases. And when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. We, do, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, listen, Which I Which is why Rando. when it comes to women driving, it's a funny point. Because Drop the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, no, no, listen. First things first, there's lies, there's damn lies, and there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're deriving... You can you're deriving your, yeah, you can massage deriving, numbers, but... You can derive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. The truth of life... Hold on, I like how he calls it an internet study. This reminds me of, like, when you... This is like debating your cringy conservative uncle who thinks that any, like, uh, study or statistics or data that you cite in your little, like, argument with him is, is like, because the study is online, that you, quote-unquote, it came from the internet so it could be made up. I've literally had that interaction before. Jesus Christ. The, these are people who are either so brain-damaged they are incapable of being moved off of their positions, or are, which is, here. this is what I suspect, just grifting pieces of shit who just want to make money, which is what I think Andrew Tate probably is. It's the truth that you experience as an individual. That is the only truth that we all live within. You live within your truths, I live within my truths, because these are the truths I've experienced. Also, I would love to see Hassan box Andrew Tate. Hassan could probably break his neck. Easy. That would be a fun boxing match. And much like I wanted, listen, I wanted so badly when I was in Texas and, and Dylan was getting screamed at by Haas and Haas was like, you're a pussy, you're a pussy. You didn't agree to box me. You didn't agree to box me. I was like mouthing to Dylan from the audience. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. I was like mouthing to that to him in the audience. And Dylan had a whole hand of rings on. He would have fucking killed him. He would have fucking killed Haas right then and there on stream. Like Bruce Willis in, in Pulp Fiction. It would have been legendary. It, one Punch Man. Easy. I shit you not. I saw... I have met Dylan and I met Haas. And I saw them both in person. Dylan not only has like probably like six to eight inches of height on Haas. Maybe a bit more but also has, like, way more power on him, I guarantee it. Like, a punch from Dylan would, looks like it would knock me back a, a hot a hot bit, you know? I'd be seeing stars for a minute. Dylan's a big dude. I didn't think you were actually there as, has, as loud IRL as he is on the internet. Yes! Oh my god. Holy shit, he is. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there. I did a couple of debates up on stage, and I witnessed all of the uh, uh, debates in the audience. I sat in the audience with, for all of them. And uh, yeah, Haas is just extremely, extremely loud. He just screams. As an individual. If you, certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true, that doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. So if you to come here and say the internet says X, especially no, Your experiences after can be real. You could be a statistical like, anomaly, as a matter of fact. You can be one of those people, but more more often than not, more often than that... I don't want to talk to you, because I keep letting you talk, and you're finishing your point, and I'm trying to talk. So okay, go ahead. I'm going to. The, the fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the fucking truth we were told with that garbage, you want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said... Okay, breakneck bullshit strategy is what he's doing here. So he literally just opened up the entire, he just tried to pull the idea that all of the scientific consensus on COVID is fake, just dropped that, tried to use it as an establishing point for an, an entirely different argument he's about to make, and what he's doing here is trying to overwhelm Hassan. Conservatives will do this in debate a lot. So now, what Hassan's left to do here is like either stop and say, wait, 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 hold on, what did you say? And then now starting a whole debate about whether or not, like, frankly, what they need to debate about right now in order to, like, actually have anything close to a productive conversation is on the topic of whether or not any data or studies on the Internet are trustworthy enough to get 
any conclusion from if not where can you get your uh what can you trust and at the end of the day it's going to end up being dumb fuck conservative youtubers like him who happen to make their living off of people believing them and watching their videos who would have thought who would have thought x i'm sure the internet did i'm talking about my personal experiences and some people agree with me and some people do not that is perfectly fine don't give a fuck if people agree with me or otherwise people are listening to me and they're either agreeing i know with me but you're not. still wrong and that's the problem uh, i disagree with you do you want to be right or do you want to keep speaking into a hug box where people agree with you and Proof then me, you know wrong. well if you just completely devalue empirical evidence actuarial sciences the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends... That is true. That is very, very true. The point Hassan making is true. Um, has, the point that Hassan is making is true. These insurance companies have a very, very strong financial interest in figuring out whether or not women actually drive worse than men. Unlike some baseline standard level like they they literally have a strong financial interest in in doing so because they would charge more like for insurance on women if so like significantly more they they do it when you're younger like they wouldn't have an there wouldn't be an issue with like oh that's sexist they they do it they're already ageist they Welcome do it with young people dude. PFF like, Tila Cakes asterisk got you. a tier 3 asterisk subscription. Like, I'm pretty sure until you're 25 years old, if you get car insurance, it's, like, much more expensive than once you're uh, past 25. I think 25 is the age where it becomes cheaper. Because these car insurance companies recognize that when you're, like, in your teens and early 20s, your brain is not fully developed, and thus your decision-making skills are not fully developed. That makes you a much higher risk of getting into an accident, thus the insurance companies are going to expect you to pay more per month in order to make it worth their while in case you end up costing them some money if something happens. It's a little bit of a little extra money up front so they feel a little more secure, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, they already do this based on age, they do it based on gender. If there was any evidence whatsoever that women actually, on a statistical baseline level, like on, for some genetic reason or something like that, drive worse than men. Doesn't seem like they do. Ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women. Is a what I will say though is the dudes that I've met in my life in person who do say women drive terribly themselves drive really badly. So I'll give you that. Well, I'm not giving you anything actually. I'm not giving him anything. I'm giving you guys that statistical likelihood that men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're going to look at all of that and say, it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences, then you're silly. You're being silly. You're being a silly person. If everyone thought like you did, right, we would have no scientific achievements on this planet. We would still be living inside of fucking caves. And now as much as I love liver King personally, I don't think that uh, that would be a good planet to live on. I'm pretty happy for, I don't know, all the medical achievements, all the scientific achievements that we have reached. And at the heart of all of that, all of those accomplishments lies Five months an passed. understanding of arriving at the truth through empirical evidence. You done? He's not the most eloquent, not saying I'm eloquent, but <laughs> he gets the point out. I'll give him that. Cool. In my personal experiences, all of the car crashes I've been involved in, all the times my car was hit, and all the negative experience I've had He's on the road, out like women Stan were at fault. That is now you can sit here and say the insurance claims say that. I never said the insurance claims don't say that. I'm saying that I am not comfortable with women. The correct response to what he's about to say here is, okay, that's fine. I just care about facts, not feelings. Just that's the response you have to what he's about to say. You hand wave it off very casually, like, okay, you can think that. I just care about facts, not feelings. And he'll get so fucking pissed. He'll get so fucking pissed. And it'll look good to the audience, too. Women driving because of my personal experience. Those are my personal experiences. You can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up. Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political on a stream that's going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that 
I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like, uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the over. Yeah. Car insurance companies already charge men more because they're already more likely to get into accidents because they're worse at making decisions. It would seem while driving. Overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more careful drivers than men. Okay. And therefore better drivers than men. Now, you keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under let, so let me walk this. Let me walk you through this. Right? You know what isn't just feelings though. Anyone who's a driver in Los Angeles is fucking homicidal. Okay, I swear to God, everybody on the road in Los Angeles literally just they're literally just fiending to murder somebody. But the only possible excuse they they have to do it and get away with it is to get into a high speed car accident with somebody in which it kills them. Holy fucking shit. People there drive insanely. Right? Brother, do you I, agree? I, do you agree that human beings have biases? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. I but but, but I, hey, I, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely. We're all biased. Okay. Completely. Do you bias. think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud, or, not just your own personal judgment. Do Maybe you think you our like biases might cloud our personal judgment? I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a biased absolutely. reality. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. Okay. So if you, if you agree with me on both of those accounts. This is the Patrick Wallet meme, by the way. You understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information is going to be clouded by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. I'm sorry. I, I can't stop looking at this guy's shirt, his little Fortnite shirt, and thinking of this meme. My friend here, Justin, he's already taken, and he's cracked at Fortnite, my guy. I can't help but think of that fucking meme. This is My precisely friend. why we look at data rather than okay, me, make arguments around our... Pro wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, you're but this is precisely why we do that. We put on the same point like five times here. Everyone's saying kick you. You're long, long in the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. That's fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scars? No, you're going to say, Dalmatians bite me for some reason and I'm not comfortable around but Dalmatians. That's called human nature. Okay. So I'm telling you my personal... That's called irrational fear. That's an irrational fear based on trauma is what that is. That's the kind of thing that you go to a therapist to work through. So let me use an example. When my mom was like nine years old, she was bitten by the family dog. It wasn't a very large dog. It was like a terrier, mid-sized dog. Bit her face around, let me go full screen so I can give you a better visual. Bit her face around right here. Took much of her nose and a lot of her upper lip and lower lip off. Kind of like a really horror scene fate kind of thing she had going on. My uncles described it as like every time her heart would beat, like the arteries in her nose would shoot blood out. It was really, really bad. She got reconstructive surgery and now you can barely notice it. She has like a tiny scar above her lip you can kind of see but it's really hard to tell anything um like it healed very very nicely you just can't really tell um however she is still deathly terrified of dogs and her whole life has always been even her tiny four pound yorkie maybe three and a half pounds maybe her three and a half pound yorkie who has no teeth she's too afraid to get in its face Everybody else likes to lay on the floor and, pay, and play with the Yorkie and let it, like, crawl on you and, like, get in your face. And, like, she'll try to lick your mouth and give you kisses, but you just kind of move your head so she can't do it and she goes for your neck. My mom's too afraid to do that. She's, like, deathly afraid to do that, even though the dog literally physically could not hurt her. The dog's teeth, like, she's old, so her teeth are just, and she was a rescue. Her always had dental problems. Now her teeth are just not. She couldn't bite you if she tried. So we, I, I grind her food up into a literal paste. 
So that and that's what she eats. So she's fine for eating and everything. She lives a happy life and she's healthy and always running around spry. But like, she couldn't bite, and yet my mom's still afraid. It is an irrational fear, something that most people ideally would go to a therapist about to get over. And I, I mean, realistically, you'd probably be more afraid of a pit bull than of a of a uh, uh, Dalmatian. Now, I want to point something out that you guys need to be very, very, very careful of. Because conservatives, I shouldn't say conservatives, racists, white supremacists like to use this as an argument a lot, okay? There is a dog whistle that white supremacists will use when referring to race crime statistics and compare that to pit bull uh, attack statistics. You see, pit bulls are a breed of dog that were specifically bred for, well, many, were, were specifically bred for the sake of fighting, for fighting other pit bulls in pit bull fighting rings. This has led to them being biologically, uh, um, you know, sort of carved out, like chiseled into a very effective fighting machine. They're very dangerous if they want to be violent. Um, and this has led to the idea that they are biologically, like biochemically in their brain, predisposed to being violent you know uh, attack dogs right <laughs> that stereotype then fuels people who want a tough scary dog to then get pit bulls and train them to be tough and scary and there you have it right and of course you also have the issue of toddlers around dogs can kind of be dangerous because toddlers don't know how to be respectful of a dog's space and all dogs are wild animals so you got a german shepherd or like a you know a uh i don't know like a fucking lab you could probably have your toddler like playing around with its face and it'll be okay with it um because they're like bigger and not really going to be bothered by a small thing messing with them but pit bulls are still kind of a smaller dog you get a toddler fucking with them they're going to get really upset pretty quickly much like any other smaller dog would and they're going to attack but when a chihuahua or a pomeranian or a terrier bites except for in my mom's case it's probably not a huge deal and you don't need to have the dog put down or make a trip to the emergency room but if a, a toddler ends up upsetting a pit bull like you could any other dog enough that it ends up biting in response even a like a warning nip well pit bulls got really sharp teeth and really big mouths so that love nip isn't going to be the same as from, like, a terrier made for, like, grabbing mice and other rodents in, like, the, in, like, sewers. Or, like, uh, any other, most, most family dog breeds, which are, like, mid- or large-sized dogs. Yeah. And they have a very strong jaw, too. There's a lot of reasons that go into why there is such a stereotype behind pit bulls being as violent and aggressive towards humans as there are. I've done quite a bit of research on it myself, and I've yet to find a solid consensus on it, on whether or not there is actually a mental predisposition in pit bulls to be more violent than other dog breeds. We don't know that yet. Now, if that is the case, then it's probably the product of not necessarily the dog breed, but entire, like, sections of, of like, pit bull, I guess, like, there would be pit bulls that were specifically bred from pit bulls that were good for fighting and had very angry temperaments that might have inherited that particular trait, um, and they could be out there in the circulation of pit bulls, but and that might explain it but that's still not fully supported by evidence that i've seen regardless though i think it's worth pointing out i know it's a bit of a tangent but people point like try to make like white supremacists will try to use that as a dog whistle and say well if pit bulls can be like biologically mentally predisposed to violence maybe humans can be too hint hint nudge nudge warrior gene and then we're getting into like the the phrenology and the and the race realism and all that personal experiences. And I don't care. You, I understand your point. Empirical evidence Maybe says X. Women modest, in this country I mean, can do yes, X. I completely mom. get that. Remember, people will always try to use common sense to get others to believe in pseudoscience. If you can get people on board with believing something because of common sense, you can just get them on board with an entire field of pseudoscience. For secondly, okay. it's also country by country because you're only talking about America because you're American and you don't see outside of the world. That's fine. I'm, I'm Turkish, well, actually. I grew up in Turkey. That's um, not the point. 
that's not the point I'm making. Point okay. I'm making is I'm uncomfortable with a woman driving. And if you actually ask most women, if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining rain heavily road, or the go. parking gets difficult, they usually ask the man to drive themselves. I know many women who do that. They're not offended <laughs> by my assumption. I know loads of women who go, oh, I don't want to park. You park it. Loads. There's not a bad thing about Hey, chat. Did you guys know that women are incapable of walking past 11 p.m.? It's actually impossible. They, they, their legs simply cease working past 11 p.m. and you are forced to carry them to the car. I know this because women have made me do this before and that's, and that's just my common sense. And thus, that must be true. Many such cases. My source says I made it the fuck up about it who gives a shit right it's not even a big deal you've come on here deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks and maybe you know one of them will drive over to your house it's cool we've got better things i don't to talk think about. I, I look look let's, let's be let's real i don't think i need to be a, a male feminist to be able to attract women okay however I, I having said that are. having said that that was a funny implication having said that you are failing to recognize what i am trying to say i walked I you through these steps slowly no but evidence. surely it, the, the thing yeah. is, the Dalmatian example that you gave is great. It's Why true. is it great? Because you are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. I can do the exact same thing and say, well, in my personal experience, Dalmatians never bite or pit bulls never bite, whichever one you thought was the more aggressive breed, right? In my personal experience... What if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive? We will never... Was Welcome fish to capitalism, a pit? dude. I, I knew that, like, uh... Was, fish was a type of pit, right? Some kind of breed of pit. Fish was a cute dog. We'll be able to arrive at... Oh, uh, All of the, uh, the new frogs in here that weren't around for the 2019 lefty streamer days... Hassan used to have a dog named Fish. He passed away, sadly, a few years ago, but um, obviously you can still see the fish emotes in the chat. Meaningful solution or a resolution to this conversation Thank you, if we're both operating awesome. on personal Passing. anecdotes and hypotheticals. That is not how you can conduct an appropriate debate. Good. So now you're saying the thing I just said. I have my own biases, my personal experiences, and I say them. Some people disagree, and some it's people agree. I don't care. You yes. now come along. But, but you're still wrong, though, because I'm not operating on biases when I talk about women driving. I'm talking oh, about the empirical evidence. I might have personally thought women are worse at driving than men as well. But once you arrive at, uh, once you look at the evidence and you realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else, you're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? Very we, we've, let, we've went over the same point like five times. Yeah. And I, think we're just I know, but it's just, it's just weird because okay. I can't like, I, I can't perfect. break through uh, Andrew's. Oh, I, understand. Uh, I understand your point. You're saying that even if I thought here. We're, we're losing the girl. No, no, exactly. I won't talk That's to her. Fine. He's saying yeah, even, so. if I, even if I thought women were worse drivers, I've seen empirical evidence, and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's what he's That's coming not along what I'm saying. asking you to do, my I'm friend. Sure I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. Wait, he did a little double vaccinated. He's like he throws in like a little fake British accent in there every once in a while. Did, did he like grow up in England and it's like his British accent is like going away or something? He's way too tan to be British. I can tell by their I can tell if they're British by their skin color. Um they're they're the whitest. They're the whitest motherfuckers, okay? My man, he is British. No shot. Is it just his his lighting? He's mixed, I think. We can always tell. You don't believe your own eyes, you don't believe your own <laughs> Years, and that's we're going to sit here Thanks and talk about empirical evidence on. that you found on Google. Glad cool. You like if you joke. believe everything that's on Google, that is your prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart in the modern world after the three years you've just been through to say that I read a piece of paper that tells me to believe X, so I believe X, and I ignore my own personal experiences, and you think I'm that not makes you asking sound you to ignore your own personal experiences. <laughs> I'm saying he does not have a strong British accent. He's got wait, he's British American. I feel like you guys are trolling me. There's no way this guy's actually from England. He's faking the British accent. There's no shot. No shot. He's a fake Brit. Video proof. I don't trust your I don't trust your link. You're a white name. We're really asking you to look at the data. So let's change the subject because you've just proven your point. Okay.
Andrew, do you believe? Well, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you didn't really prove anything, but it's cool. Uh, do you believe the Earth is flat, or do you believe the Earth is is spherical, round? Wait, wait, hold on. Why on Earth did he take his headphones off to light a cigar? Why? Okay, chat. I'm sorry. Let me show you what it would look like for me to light a cigar right now with my headphones on. Why, why did he take it? He's just taking him off so he can pussy out of the debate. Is he just conceding? This is an hour and 13 minutes long. Is he just conceding right now? He's just conceding the debate. Two years. Aldi has, has right. his headphones on. Yeah, oh, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. It's important, you know. Sometimes you can't take the heat. Sometimes you can't take the heat, so you got to get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the earth is flat or round spherical? Globe. What you mind? believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I it looks flat. It feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the Earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the Earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured correct. it out? Exactly. I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> And yeah. I saw a big That's crazy. By the way, I don't even think you can see the Earth's curvature on a commercial flight. I'm pretty sure you literally have to ride in like a fucking fighter jet. Like the the level of of elevation you have to reach to actually see the Earth's curvature. I know you might think you've seen it from a commercial flight. You can't actually see it. You have to get like fighter jet level high or like uh oh oh you can't even see the screen. I, I'm a dumb fuck. Um, you have to get ridiculously high up to actually be able to see it. It's like 60, yeah, 60,000 feet. I think that was the right number. You have to get like 60,000 feet up. It's ridiculous. Um, so I doubt this guy's actually gone high up enough to have actually seen the Earth's curvature. If he says, I've been on a flight before, then I'm going to laugh. Okay, we, you don't have to, hey, listen, you don't have to concede on that point, but I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific... Uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, all our fun. science. And I, saw there, and I thought, wow, this guy, wow. Okay, he's going to ruin the stream. We had a hot chick. Now oh, you're did here. You? By the way, he literally could have just said, I've been to the beach before, and I've watched boats go over the horizon. That's all he had to say. He literally could have just said, I, I know the earth is round because I've sat on the beach before and watched boats go over the horizon. Why didn't he just say that? Uh, yeah, boats disappear bottom first over the horizon. That should have been your first clue. Is that oh. what you thought? Just, just, just chill out, like oh, man. I don't little, argue wait, So what's up? Is it is it a little bit more difficult when I'm not like uh, the traditional like SJW looking person? Is that why it it, it feels like the the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult. As a professional, I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah, you, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like I'm sure you can handle little old me. Exactly. So I'll tell you as a professional, the conversation we just had, I said, I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, that's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence. To be fair, that could just be the ship exiting the render distance. Evidence, my personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I am. That's not what I said. I said that over. regardless of my own personal biases that I might have, evidence is still more important than my personal biases. When you got it all talking at once, you and it's boring, it. and you've lost, and it's boring. So let's just oh. move on to the next subject. Is that, is one is that, is that what happens? You just say, I'm boring, and I lost? Fuck, he's mad. Listen, Hassan's not even, like, debating that well. Andrew Tate's really just that... that much of a chud. And I mean this sincerely. He really is a chud. Like... Both in the fact that I think he lives underground and, and feasts on human flesh, because that's the only way someone could be as dumb as him, and he's just he he's just kinda like a shitlord conservative type. Who who also I believe advocates for rape in his videos. Someone in chat told me that. I may be wrong, but uh people keep on saying that in the chat, so I, I guess take that with a grain of salt.
votes and then you win? You is did, that what it is? Do a poll. Do a poll in the chat. And if you won, then we'll continue to talk it. But I'm sure you've lost. And it's boring. Okay. And it's do you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately, Andrew? It seems like you're running away a little bit. No, we're just going in a never-ending circle. Like we've, okay. We've yeah, we can move on from that. We can move on from the 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 importance of science and and Andrew's personal biases. Andrew, he's a sex trafficker. That's pretty sus. That's pretty sus. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the Hustlers University, whatever that is? Not in a promotional capacity. I know that like you're doing the rounds on Twitch, and I know that that's probably giving you a big boost. But I want to understand, you know, because you are a businessman. I want to understand how you generate revenue. Uh, is it okay to get this information for Sub free, or do I have to pay $50 and then maybe get an affiliate link and get other people to also join so I can make a 10% cut off of them also joining Hustlers University. You can find everything on the website and you can join if you want more information. That's fine. So you don't want to, you don't want to share this information for free right now. You don't want to educate me on that. I don't want to sit here and spend the next hour. You trying to accuse me of some bullshit. I'm not, it's, it's, I'm not, I'm, I'm here to learn. Out. Andrew, you are a brilliant right. mind. Sure maybe I a little rattled, maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people who have bravery to try and make fun of them. No, I do oh, think it's very brave. brave. I do think. Okay. I do think it's very oh, brave. Oh, all right. So let's, let's not. He looks so fucking bad, right? He looks weak. He looks weak right now to conservatives. That's how this looks. Let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do. That's the first thing. The no, 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 no. You you are absolutely yeah. incredibly brave. You still might have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. I I, I appreciate it. I mean, whatever, it's fine. Uh, cool. The point I'm trying to make is, I know you want to sit here and talk about hate you and try and break it down, and you've prepared a bunch of notes, etc. Et I have no notes whatsoever. I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm simply here to learn from you. No. Can we stop with the sarcastic shit and just have an actual No, I'm literally, but that's the truth. Oh, you're being so sarcastic, though. Like, why are you being so sarcastic? Like, I'm not. Dick Ryder! I'm literally, oh, bro, you're oh, just oh, come, like, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm asking questions. Yeah, I thought. being sarcastic, like, listen. listen. Hassan, please. It's pretty clear that I was the better Hassan, so. Yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, that's for if sure. you could just get out the call. Maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. It's would boring, you guys, man. if you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to hey, be. I, I don't want to be rude. I gotta get back to work. I I, I do not want to be rude, boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream. Uh, Andrew, uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I I hope that one day you can uh, educate me on your your revenue strategies. Uh, I if mean, it's it's it does look a little bad Cassidy though if you're like if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering oh, you a little bit. You should stay on the call, but I think you should be more socially aware. I am. And understand. Oh, is no, that a bad no, question? Do you oh, not educate no. thousands Did of you young men you about your business strategies? I want to know more. Brown, Dad. Okay. I want you to be more socially aware and understand that since you've joined the stream, everyone's begging for you to leave. The vibe's down. It's boring. <laughs> it's, it's late at night for me. I came here to have fun. You're being boring. No one thinks you're cool. No one thinks you're intelligent. No one thinks you're funny. You know what you're doing? You are making me tired. That's what you've done. You've made me tired. I, I don't think I'm cool or intelligent. I just have questions and you're not answering them for some reason. No, Why are we derailing? I don't have to answer your questions. You're not the police. I don't have to answer you. No, anything. no, no, not at all. No, I am not the UK police nor the Romanian one. I'm simply yeah. asking you questions about your- Who remembers? Who's, who's been around? Who is here in 2019 for the non-compete destiny debate? That was insane business strategy which you which you literally educate people on i just want to know how you fucking uh, how you do growth and revenue I, why can't i be a hustler i want to be a hustler like you i want to be a top g a top bloke a proper bloke right Wait, is he actually you can find British? out more on the website i would like the stream to get fun again if you want to discuss this you don't think your it, educational content is fun for people to consume i think everyone's saying kick him read the chat have you guys read the chat on your stream you want me to you want me to leave that bad i'll if you want me to leave that bad i'll leave you're, you're just being I, I mean listen i'm just i'm just a, i'm just a messenger but you're just kind of like being sarcastic making i'm not i'm literally not i promise i swear where to allah that i want to know just saying wasn't sarcastic
Don't even, you can't even convince me. None of, none of what sarcastic. I have mentioned is sarcastic. I truly would like to know more. 85% kick. 85%. No one thinks you're funny or interesting or witty. Your, your little comebacks, no one's interested in them. You haven't won anything. Andrew, it's okay. It's okay. Program. Andrew, if you want, we can have a, we can have a conversation again. We can have a conversation again in the future if you'd like, if you, if you're brave enough, I guess. you have. HU has an affiliate program for some people if they want to affiliate like everything else in the world. We have over 100,000 students making more than they invest each month. If they didn't make more than they invest, they wouldn't uh -huh. sign up. One of the most successful online educational platforms in history. Is it, is it, are join. there multiple layers? You can learn how to make some money yourself if you want to join and have more information. It's all he can't even own his own opinion. Such beta behavior. The chat wants you to leave. Yeah. On corporate.com, you can find out yourself. By the way, if you ever plan to become like a lefty debate, whatever the fuck, you're going to have to deal with the fact that basically every conservative show that you go on, you're going to be talking or dealing with a majority hostile audience. The vast majority of the conservatives that'll be watching the debate, if they even have a hope of having their minds changed, you will, if anything, be the first stone that cracks that sort of that dam and gets it to start trickling. Um, you, they aren't going to come out of that debate thinking that you necessarily won or agreeing with you, but it might be their start to maybe delving a little bit and reconsidering some of their positions. And that won't really come about until later. Ironically enough, it's actually been um, recently, like the last three or four months, I posted a few examples on Twitter. I've been getting comments on some of my most hated videos. People, like videos where I did things like call out John Tron, where people have come back and now they've got like the trans profile picture and stuff, like a pit crew with a trans background in their profile picture and stuff. And they're like, oh my God, I disliked this video two years ago when I was a chud. I came back to, to take away my dislike and like it again. Um, like I get videos, I get comments like that sometimes. And it's like, chances are... My video might have got them thinking about something, right? Maybe reconsidering some of their positions. They ended up in the right place in the end anyway. And, uh, yeah. I think it's, um... I, I think it's important to consider that. That, like, a lot of the people that you're going to be broadcasting to on the opposite side of your stream are going to dislike you and hate you regardless of how correct your opinions are and regardless of how obviously you are winning. Um... It's pretty rare that that doesn't happen. Um, like, I guess the closest example I can think of was my debate I did against Willie Mack. A couple years ago, I debated Willie Mack's show, and uh, I like Willie Mack's show. I think he makes good content. I don't think that people should hate him or anything. Um, but holy shit, did I destroy him in that debate. <laughs> And uh, even the audience of the stream that that was hosted on, uh, which was a hostile audience towards me, uh, came out of it generally agreeing. So that's the closest that I can think of. That's the closest that I can think of, but that's just going to be the reality of being like a lefty streamer, is that you're going to be arguing against a hostile argument, even if you are wiping the floor with your op opponent as hard as Hassan is here. And Hassan's not a great debater, but nonetheless, this guy is running away with his tail between his legs, and yet... What was it, 85% of the viewers on these two's stream voted for Hassan to be kicked out? Because they're dick riders. They aren't thinking for themselves. They live in an echo chamber. If you're too cheap to pay $50... They're like turtles. They get scared and, you know, turtle up when their ideas are challenged. And you're a brokey and nobody gives a shit what you think anyway. You've ruined the stream. Everyone wants you out of it. So either change tune and get with the program and be fun. Or keep sitting here and talking sarcastic and really slowly and repeating yourself and talking about how you only believe what you see on the internet. Because no one really gives a fuck. And it's boring. So let's move on to something fun. Let's get the tempo up. I've just told you about hate you. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on CobraTech.com. Yeah. It, no, it, it is. So, okay. So it is a multi-level marketing scheme. Got it. I just wanted to figure out if it was uh, truly a pyramid scheme. It would be inappropriate of me to assume that it's a pyramid scheme without having you explain it uh in such terms but thank you Sounds all like right pyramid whatever scheme. whatever you guys want to talk about i'm, I'm game you're welcome to affiliate anytime you like friend there's no problem yeah all right so uh, let's move on because this dude is he's lame my friends let's all get right, this yeah Hassan, I, I appreciate you coming on we're gonna bring in another guest though all right, peace, boys. Hassan, Have fun, I mean, I, Andrew. I'm always out. open to talk to you, my friend, if you'd like yeah. to. We'll have another conversation. Definitely. Is that it? Thank you, my friend. Have a good night. Holy shit! That was, that was it? bullshit. Does he go on again?
I've oh, never seen like a man does. act so hysterical. I thought he was such a fucking big boy. What happened? Oh, no, I think he watches it. That's for crazy. A while. What happened there? Wait, he he does. How get are you on gonna again. fucking talk Welcome so capital, much shit mean? and then cry? Oh yeah, he does Ninja get on again later on. Asterisk has donated five dollars. I think he gets on here. Thank you, Meme Joy. It's boring. It's it's late at night for me. I came here to have fun. You're being boring. No one thinks you're cool. No one thinks you're intelligent. It's no late at night for him, guys. I, I don't think I'm cool or intelligent. I just have questions and you're not answering them for some reason. Have fun. Andrew, I'm always open to talk to you, my friend, if you'd like yeah. to. What would other conversation? Have good night. Good. Thank you, my friend. Have a good night. All right. I've never two. seen a man act so hysterical. I thought he was such a f big boy. What happened? Round two. Fight. Mr. Right, just one, one way. Mr. Tate. Um, yeah. Hey, it's XQC. Hassan would like to join. Nani? Oh, oh shit. Oh my God. Hey dude, pull out your resident sleep. Let's do a deal. We can bring your mate. If he keeps interrupting and if he gets super boring, just kick him. Okay, if you fine, promise. Fine, uh, fine, oh. fine, 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 fine. Like, so the, the disclaimer is a son. Uh, Andrew, should I sit like XQC uh, know, right now? Go ahead and Andrew, tell him. Like it's six sixteen a.m. We're there having we fun. We can do like some debate if we want, whatever, whatever. But it can't. No, be no, no. I'm not even. I'm not like even XQC. trying to debate. I just, I, I just was trying to get Aiden to say that you were coping about the mic thing, but he does. He wouldn't. He refused bro, to say it. Means, we can. Bro. But no, I bro, do. I do. Fix the mic. Fix the mic. It's like, okay. Listen, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. Well, I do gotta. I do gotta admit that no, it does take balls to then uh, say that you would uh, be down to debate me or have a conversation with me next time around. So you know, props to you on that one for sure. Uh, we can do it at a different time. You know what I mean? Uh, we can do it at a different time. I just wanted to just wanted to point that out. Aiden, you're a pussy, bro. Oh, my God. That's my boy. Oh, don't come, don't really? come gun and Personally, I'm not That's yeah, your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were you were literally yeah. top G'ing him like he's your girlfriend talking uh, about how you're taking all of his stream revenue. He's obviously not. I'm not. Pay, I've never paid him a dime. Obviously, I'm not. Yo, damn, yo. God damn. You know what we need? Then if you're going to do like that, we need to give him the final boss then. We need to bring, if, he, if he's able to crack some of the arguments. We gotta bring Destiny midway through the fucking run. Destiny is, is would be your uh, your arguer. Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna bring a band streamer? Who the fuck is Destiny? Listen, so, I'm not a pussy. Uh, I, I never paid him a dime. But I would do want to say I don't know what that word. It might be like a little secret like slang word. I don't know what that is. What cope? What? Copium? No, but you were just saying like tell him his. You kept spamming. No, us. I just say he was coping. Like he was coping. He was saying like oh my mic's not working. A real man, a real alpha. I'm a member of Hustlers University now. Okay, a real tough G does not make excuses. It gets better. It's not excuses, it's just I needed to work out why, not just for you, but in general, on every stream I do, because I'm new to Twitch, whenever I'm talking at the same time as someone else, you can only hear them and not me. I think I, I think XQC's fixed it now, we'll have to test it, someone else is going to have to talk, and we'll have to test it, but it wasn't even particularly about your debate. Welcome to Hustlers University, my friend. Hopefully you can, uh, you know, stop being a brokey. Hold on a second, how am I dick riding him? How? how? Because Listen, they, that's, where, that's wait, what they, they don't want anyone well, to agree with. Hold on a second, if, if I drink... So wait, is me drinking sparkling water now dick sucking? It's not okay. Yeah, it's dick riding, one hundred percent. Hold on. Don't let people don't let people disrespect you on your own stream. Is what I'm saying. Hassan, real quick, I always wanted to ask you this question: Who did you vote for? What? Joe what Biden. Mean? I voted for Joe Biden. Oh, I voted for Kanye. Nice. Okay, that's okay. That's Over. Bro, this reminds me of the guys who unironically voted for for like Harambe back in 2016. How many votes did Harambe get in 2016? Like 15,000 or something? Sean, do you think Joe Biden's a good president? No. That's it. Fucking dog shit. All right, at least at least you're not too completely insane. Then Okay, there's, there's some hope for our conversations in future. I want to talk about Hustlers University, guys. Listen, I only have 101,000 students. I want to try and, you know, get okay, that up. Okay, let's push it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I do want to talk to you about that, but if you if you bring that up, it's going to turn into a debate. I'm just saying. No, no, it's fine. Hassan thinks it's MLM, but he's obviously joined, so he so I got his money. Pow, that's that done. Yo, I didn't actually, I didn't actually <laughs> join. I was being sarcastic. Wait, really? Harambe was actually on the ballot. No, you can write you can write anything in. You know that, right? People vote for like Bart Simpson. What? Tell me. Okay, okay. A vote for Bart is a vote for anarchy. A vote for Bart is a vote for anarchy. Wait, serious well, question. Honest, How are you? Bro, old Simpsons goes hard. Making money. By How are you making money? Or what? How are you making the money? 
Don't worry about how we're making our money. Go join yeah, the program. If you, you want to. Are you making the money? Hard. Are you making the money through affiliate codes or are you actually making money? I'm actually making money. Not wow. through affiliate codes. You're like following yeah, yeah, following yeah, the steps. Yeah. 18 okay, what are you doing? You got to sign up to see. That's right. Bro, That's this right. is this is such a scam, brother. Come on, you gotta, you gotta at least. For, uh, you're just doing a hashtag ad at this point for, I, for I, 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 fucking I'm, I'm Hustlers honest, University. I'm gonna be honest. Stagging, okay. Hold on, Stagging, go ahead. Tell your story. I joined. I was like dad broke. I had like what 10k to my name. I joined. That guy even broker. So I don't know what the fuck. Like what? The fuck. <laughs> I joined the guy broker. Like, how is that even possible? So, so we have a positive review and a negative review, and then we have Hassan in the middle who thinks it's all a big scam. No, I I know it's a scam, brother. I know it's a scam. Come on, I mean, the is it, it? Look, look, look. It's it's not even a new one. Our our fucking parents. There's probably kids in this chat right now whose moms and and dads uh, did a version Amway. of this it's called Herbalife. Yeah. Amway. Yeah. It has existed throughout time. The multi-level marketing scheme. Yep, there was like Where five the of them entire, in there. The mode. entire fucking point XQ, is what do you to mean? promote it so you can fucking, you can basically substitute the bag down to the next person. And you're at the tippy Fuck top man, bitch. collecting the, the entirety, 90% of profits from every single fucking sale made. $50 might not come across like a big amount of money, but over the over uh, 110,000 people, that's a lot of fucking cookies you're making every month. Yeah, obviously you're wrong, but let's uh, <laughs> discuss this at length during our next official organized debate because if i i can't but i can't stop myself we're going to talk about it like if, if cheese over he's going to fucking praise it like in front of 110,000 impressionable kids i'm going to have to i'm going to have to talk about it i'm not praising i'm not praising it crazy i'm just saying money off it. i'm not gonna lie he did just buy a roly he did just buy a roly chat i i have to point out by the way this mannequin is wearing a strap on a ginormous strap on right beneath the uh, desk there, right below the camera where it cuts off. The tip is like right there. Very long one, very big for him. And uh, it has legs as well. And sitting on those legs is a box of tissues. I think you can put two and two together. Why did you, what did you do in three weeks? Expensive make purchases money? does not mean. Well, I want to hear, I want to hear. What did you do? You made make it bread how? Find out. We don't gonna... kick shame. Wow. Wow. I can't just say that that's fucked towards him. I can't just give up. Why does Hassan keep groping his own titties? He's done it twice now. Why does he keep groping his own tits? Zan Boblax tweeted about you. Am I going to have to challenge him to a boxing match? Tip number one, don't do math. <laughs> okay, he has me there. Listen, okay, we knew that people were going to make fun of that video and people were going to go and comment on it a lot. So we made it so in mid-roll ad runs every single minute of that video now, okay? <laughs> I made it so that a mid-roll ad runs literally every 60 seconds on that video. Go. Go, go, go watch it to comment and make fun of it. I dare you. About his sauce. So, did you, did you, did you get a job or are you signing the book? No, what are you doing? I, didn't have, I didn't have to get a job. So no job. Okay, so how did you Not do Not signing the book. So did you make money up here? Like, what are you doing? You're saying, you're saying weed? If you want to buy that, just do it, bro. Sign up. It's 50 bucks. Don't be tight. Like, you know. I, 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 come on. This come on, makes on, no on, sense. On, I am buying it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I'll dedicate it to the socialist new world, whatever you want. I'll take your 50 bucks out of the pot, and I'll put it into something you're happy with. Don't worry about it. And and just join. There's 18 modern wealth creation methods. And what actually, if you want to be a logical person, Mr. Imperial Evidence, what you'll understand is that don't be impressed that I've managed to get 110,000 people to sign up. It's, I it's empirical. It's not imperial. I, I, ret I retain those people. And the fact that I can retain that many students means there's 110,000 people in the world making more money than they invest every single month. So conservative logic right on the uh, right on display here. Conservatives will unironically argue to the fucking death, in fact, that the amount of people who agree with them directly correlates to how correct they are. I know it's very, very stupid. Uh, you should be able to see why that's wrong very evidently, but I can't tell you how many comments I've gotten on my videos in which people reply, huh, well if you're so correct, then why does the YouTuber you're responding to have more subscribers than you? And it's like, because he's been making videos in this platform for 10 years and like, shamelessly clickbaits and grifts to a very easy to get audience? They genuinely think like this. They want to be part of the winning party. That's all it is. They want to be part of the cool clique. They didn't get to be popular kids in high school, so now they want to be popular kids on the internet now that they're in their early and 
in many cases, early 30s and early 20s. Everyone's getting rich. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole section on wins. You can join. Go in the wins channel. Bro, this is, I mean, Ty Lopez did this too, bro. Like, it's the same shit. By the way, pyramid schemes, like what this guy runs, literally prey on that mindset, particularly the FOMO part of it, the fear of missing out. Don't let FOMO override your better judgment. It, wait, it is what, literally wait, the same I saw, shit. Was Ty Lopez the guy who was like, hey, look at my Lamborghini. Was look at my Yeah, exactly. Oh, and, and instead of Lamborghini, oh, Cheezer, I wanted doing, to look at my Bugatti. Oh, no. Cheezer, you know what I'm talking about? Homie is literally doing yeah, the same yeah. thing yeah. verbatim, but instead he's doing, look at my Bugatti instead of my fucking Lamborghini. Yeah, be a FOMO-phobe, okay? And that's oh, the H difference. H2 existed before I collected that car, so that's not true. But H2 is a, an amazing product that I stand by. It's fantastic. And when you finally give in and join, you're going to be happy you did. Don't worry about it. Uh, out of everyone else on this call, I'm the only motherfucker who gets uh, blasted on the timeline for for uh, buying nice things and also having money. So I'm good. I don't need to make more money. Not only, not only do I buy nice things, I buy nice things, things I can't even use. Yeah, and and that's the thing. But they Dude, the Hassan buying nice things stuff like really has me torn because on one hand, like Hassan will literally just flex his wealth, but he'll do it quote unquote ironically, so it's not flexing now. Like now it's not like some it's not the same because it's being done ironically when it is literally just flexing his wealth and then people defend it, even though it's literally just rice gum levels of flexing just done ironically on Twitter, like in, a, in his editor tweets out like, but on the other hand, it's like he he makes his money through arguably one of the most like reasonable and non uh, what's the word for it? Um. There's a word for it, and I'm blanking on it because I'm stoned as fuck. Uh, Non-exploitative. Thank you, Cobalt Swiftball. Uh, exploitative methods you can possibly go about to get as much money as Hassan has gotten. You know, like, Hassan's probably got at least 10 million in the bank, if I were to, like, guess, and he's saving well. He's probably got, like, raw, across all of his accounts, probably 10 million, if he's smart based off of the minimum of how much he makes per month. Even if he's spending pretty severely, he's probably got 10 million minimum saved up, which makes him very firmly a millionaire. Most millionaires have achieved their wealth through means that we would consider pretty unethical. Now, Hassan does have a history of not paying his editors, and, I'm sh and they probably play a, play a big part in him reaching the success that he's reached. However, Putting that aside, that that being pretty isolated circumstance, I'm torn on it. I'm still torn on it, on whether or not Hassan deserves the level of roasting he gets. Frankly, I lean most on he does deserve it, because when you make as much money as him, then you, you, you're allowed to get made fun of ruthlessly on the internet. That's just how it works. When, when, you make, when you're really, really, really rich, you're allowed to get made fun of on the internet. It doesn't matter. Thanks to you and I. Uh, we love we love what we do. We like streaming for the sake of streaming for the most part. I find it very fulfilling, but also because of the amount of subscribers I have, because of the financial freedom that I have. If I ever make Hassan levels of money, you guys are allowed to make fun of me, okay? If, I, if it's ever too much for me, I can retire. From my own community, I don't need to fucking, you know, take on sponsorship deals or anything like that. And I don't need Look. to take on Hustlers University. And when I see a scam, I can call it out as I see it. I'm trying very hard not to, you know, debate because we can that, do it. No, it's not this, new. It's happened time and time again. Bravo, I'm not believe, getting paid to promote. You, you, no, no, that's fine. It's happening. Don't buy it, bro. No, that's good. You do believe it's a scam. It, you believe it's the old school MLM. Don't I told buy you to join shit, for $50. You're saying that you're rich, but you refuse to join. So obviously you don't know what the product is. <laughs> you've never seen it yourself. You're just going based on what you've decided. And that's that's completely fine. You're not going to reduce our subscriber number. Every single time I do one of these Twitches, we get three, four, five, six thousand new students. Everything's going fantastic for us. Yeah, because, just, so this is part of why I really don't like the way that Twitch tends to platform and end up giving a career to the shittiest people. Like, us debating people like Infrared gave him his platform. That guy would be a nobody had it not been for people like me, Vosh, Destiny, etc. debating him. He would literally be a 40 viewer Andy on band right now, so on, on YouTube, uh, just screaming to 40 viewers and having to do it as his like part-time job. Like that would be his future, but no. Platforms like this will like even like left-wing people will like platform 
people like this and give them careers. Another example of someone like this, who I actually debated really early on in my channel, like 2019, is somebody named Rose Mullet, I think her name is? Yeah, Rose Mullet, I think that's her. Um, she's big time clout chaser and a troll. I'm pretty sure she's not even a trans woman like she says she is. Um, there's like evidence of her like literally just saying she's a cis woman. She's just pretending to be trans to troll. Like it's it's really like and, and she just goes out of her way to say the most pr provocative shit to upset people. Uh, it's very obviously a, uh, you know, a, Br a Britney Venti situation and uh, I don't really care for it. So when that same person came along and tried to get me to debate her on stream, my editor just quote tweeted her or like talked to her on stream or something. It wasn't even a debate, like talked to her on stream. My editor quote tweeted her before I could and said, hi, Zan's editor here. Please fuck off forever. <laughs> because I really don't want to, like, give careers to these, like, budding sociopaths that I know there's enough crazies on the internet for them to get a career if I give them the platform for them to be seen. You have to be careful with your platform once you start to get big enough. It's sad, but with great power comes great responsibility or whatever the fuck. So far, yeah, oh, no, you, you admit it. You admit it. This is a good way to market your, your really? product. I'm marking because people don't like push that. back because Aiden is like, like I said, he's dick eating a little oh, bit. Oh, not... oh, I'm really so, hey, hey, You're not gonna talk to my homie like that. Watch your mouth. You're hey, not dick riding. Appreciate you, gang. Appreciate hey. you. What is he, what is, what is he doing then? Aiden's a cool what, what guy. You, what would you call what he's doing then? I mean, he's just he's just learning. He's just learning new things, bro. Like, what is this dick riding hug box, dude? Like Andrew Tate will not engage unless he's got like two or three guys acting as, as his shield like he just can't and he's literally not said a word in like the last like three minutes it's all just been his cronies arguing for him what a pussy dude guys like this literally have the biggest insecurities and the reason why they project so much masculinity on the internet is because it's being done to compensate for that they're not secure in who they are they are not comfortable with who they are uh they haven't come to terms with who they are these people are the average joe rogan fans not even the average joe rogan fan is just the average person this guy is like the average joe rogan fan who only watches the episodes of joe rogan in which he has a, has a conservative commentator on except for the women never the women conservative commentators he doesn't listen to them he allows them to exist in his space but never actually to listen to them <laughs> yeah, learning how to ride the dick harder. Hey, really watch learned. your fucking mouth. He not dick riding. I'm not. Indeed. I'm not. I don't know. I think I do understand because, like, the people on the internet who hate me because I just found out. Uh, I saw. It's like a vertical human centipede, a human totem pole. Like, this guy is dick riding this guy, and this guy is dick riding this guy. So it's like a vertical to totem pole of dick riding. On. After our little debate, because I didn't, I didn't, I, I'm new to Twitch. I'm only a week into this. I don't even have a proper account. I just jumped in when Aiden invited me for the first time. I don't know who any of the big guys are. I didn't know. It turns out you're a famous Twitcher or streamer. I didn't know any of that. I didn't have a clue who you were. Oh, no, and, not uh, even. Then someone said on Twitter, yeah, he, he's been, he's a fan of yours. He's been watching you for a while. He does all your videos to us. You've been watching me for a long time. So you're a fan of mine. But I don't even know your worldview. I don't know your paradigms. I don't know how you view the world. I don't know where you lie on the political spectrum. I don't know anything. But I wouldn't necessarily say fan. Um, but no, I have seen some of your, uh, some of your work. Uh, most of the information I found out about you is completely against my will. I mean, you've been popping off and I wondered why does Andrew Tate, uh, oh, because I, you also dated, uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter, which is a rare W for you. And also I saw you, uh, talk about joining the Marine Corps as a uh, pussy shit, which is another rare W for you. But outside of that, it's usually just a sequence of L's. Wait, I was wondering, this about him? Andrew Tate fuck? doesn't have. I'm sorry, this guy did not say that joining the Marine Corps is pussy shit for the right reasons, okay? This guy would not... I, does this guy have any military experience? This guy's just a pretend tough dude, right? Like, has this guy served at all paramilitary? No, he's boxed. Has he actually served in any capacity? He's not a very good fighter. Just know about the boxing. Listen, I don't think this guy has the mental fortitude to make it through marine training. I don't know if I do. I certainly don't think I would. 
or the physical fortitude. Certainly not yet. But I don't think this guy would have it in him. I'm sorry, like, especially not, like, Navy SEAL training. Holy shit. Imagine if this guy tried to go through Navy SEAL training. I imagine he, does he think, like, the Navy is cool? Did he just say joining the military or the, the U.S. armed forces in any capacity is pussy shit? If he hasn't served, and that's just him trying to be like, uh, I'm more, I'm too masculine for that. That's, uh, that's hilarious if that's the case. That is absolutely hilarious if that's the case. Have, uh, Andrew Tate doesn't have uh, any, like, he has a lot of social media footprint, but not necessarily a lot of accounts. How is this happening? So oh, I wondered, how is this, what, how does this work? Why are there? Yeah, even the SAS doesn't fuck around really, does it? Like, I don't know much about the SAS, but I know that, like, the the British armed defense forces are not, like, pushovers by any means. I'm sure it's, like, fucking rough. There's so many people out there that are making accounts and promoting all of your podcast appearances, clipping you, and defending you every single time. Because I inspire people, my friend. <laughs> well, part of it is, is because brutal. I think there is a financial interest that's associated with it because the more they promote you... I got really close to joining the Coast Guard in 2018. Like, like, about to walk out the door to go to the place to sign the paperwork close to joining the Coast Guard in 2018. And what stopped me was that my YouTube channel gained 50 subs that day. I was like, because my uncle was doing it. And I was like, oh shit. Wait. I just gained 50 subs. Because I'd uploaded a video that did really well. And I decided that I really wanted to like continue with YouTube. And continue putting my work into YouTube. Because at the time I was a lifeguard. And I just continued working on YouTube. And then my uncle decided not to go do the Coast Guard stuff. Because I'd be there like... He'd just be leaving me there for, like, however long, uh, months at a time, possibly. And he didn't want to do that. And he'd also miss his dog and stuff, and his dog was old, so he just went back on it. But uh, I almost did it, and uh, I'm glad that I didn't, because I probably wouldn't be here streaming today. The more they can sell Hustlers University to other people so they can get an affiliate code. Uh, the, the percentage that you get with your affiliate code when you get other people to join Hustlers University. That's where it came from. That's where I was. Uh, that's yes. when I realized, oh, shit. OK, it's just a basic uh, multi-level so marketing scheme. You've been a fan of me for a long time. You've been watching me for a long time. We agree. Everything. You can I don't say that you if you want. want. I don't have a clue who you are. Uh, I don't know your political affiliations, et cetera, et cetera. I understand the internet and I understand how the internet works. So it's very easy to come along and say, Tate's making over 10, $15 million a month. We have to find a way to discredit that. We can't discredit the amount he's making because we know oh. that. Why do you want to join the military? Coast Guard is like, not really the military. It's like, the Coast Guard is to the military what weed is to drugs. You guys know what I mean? Like if the Navy is heroin, and the Air Force is meth. Yeah, like that then like the Coast Guard's like weed, you know? The Coast Guard is weed. Oh. So how's we're going to wait, how's that possible? It, uh, we're going to come along and say it's being made dishonestly. I understand that. But and and hey, it's fine if that's the prerogative. People can come along and say whatever they want. If it was a dishonest program and a dishonest system, then I wouldn't have so many happy students. I wouldn't have five-star reviews. I would da, da, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then with the being a cop is ketamine brain knows but i understand that it's very easy to be jealous and when you're a fan and you're watching all my stuff that you're going to come up with these theories brother i already told you i'm the only motherfucker in this call who gets flamed when i make more money i already make too much money i'm good okay so no it's not oh, yeah. it's definitely Wait. not jealousy a hundred times a hundred thousand times times 50 not five mil that is correct but that's not the only thing i have it's not the only program damn in the you make life. five m a month uh -huh. off but that but that's if you that's if you take everything on top of that what's what's the rest of the revenue coming from then so what? i have to be I was, so this is a stream so i'm not going to sit here and tell you everything i do but people know i own some casinos people know that that's public knowledge i own casinos in romania so i have a uh, <laughs> i have 14 casino locations <laughs> motherfucker owns overseas casinos hey chat what why do you think his casinos are overseas why do you think these casinos are literally in a different country he lives in romania why do you think he lives in romania to do this to run his little casino thing probably because it's not legal in america probably for seminal sim, seminal sem, similar reasons to why like a lot of big gambling streamers moved to canada
so that they could legally do the online gambling streams because you can't do online gambling in America like they do. I think you can be a, I think you can use a VPN and do it, but I don't know. Not the casino Zam, the human trafficking. Oh, I forgot about the human trafficking. That's a whole other thing. It's for the human trafficking stuff. He fled. Ah. So his new his new uh new shtick while after fleeing away from America is to start a scam casino. Amazing. Is it an online casino? I really hope it is. It's so he can sell 15-year-old prostitutes. Oh, is, like, the age of consent in that country, like, really low or some shit like that? Is that why? Oh, that would make sense. Oof. Is it, is it like, 15 or 16 or some shit? That would make sense. It's Europe. Oh, God, I hate Europeans. There's no Europeans watching right now, right? Actually, I hope they are watching. I want you to know, your age of consent laws over there are absurd. Nah, it's 18? Oh, okay. Well... Ro Romania? Is that where he is? You've got your shit together there, apparently. But isn't it like 16 in the UK or in, in, in the U UK, Brit British land? In, in the in the land where the people have the bad teeth and they and they told like this. Isn't it like 16 there? That that needs to be done away with. That needs to go up to 18. I used to think that maybe they should up the age of consent to 25, but then that that opens up some different concerns <laughs> because the hu the human brain isn't fully developed toward till 25 but that doesn't mean a 24 or 20 like a 24 year old should be able to get with a 16 year old that would probably be a problem we would need to implement like a tier system or something like that then it'd probably be more accurate it's 16 in the uk i remember that from the pyrocynical drama oh yeah that's really str i mean it makes sense, but I guess it's kind of funny that in his own country, what he was doing was legal. But then again, the country where the kid was from, it wasn't because the kid was American, right? Well, I'm glad the Internet didn't just say, well, it's legal where he's from and hand wave. But actually, they kind of did because Pyrocynical's still around now. I can't help but still watch Pyrocynical videos. I watched his recent video on Iron Lung and I thought it was pretty good. I don't like, uh, you know support his content financially i use ad block but i do like his uh some of his videos some of them that pop up are pretty good damn, damn. damn. yeah i have damn. i have a, i have a substantial property portfolio across four or five different countries uh, i have hustles university i have the war room um i i still have my brother still owns an agency that manages only fans girls so between it all oh. we're i mean between it all we're we're, we're oh brother Okay, chat, let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something, all right? I have found, through my numerous friendships with sex workers that I've cultivated through my career, that doing YouTube and streaming is not so different from doing sex work, like camming or OnlyFans or whatever, right? And the similarities also line up when we talk about managers. So, on YouTube, there was this thing called Machinima, all right? Machinima was a content creator management company. Basically, if you seem like you were a promising content creator back in, like, the early days, they would come along, especially gaming, they would come along and offer you a deal. They would pay you a, what would seem to you, a very promising amount in exchange for the funds your YouTube channel would make. They would do this when your channel would be making less than what they'd be offering you. And then, once your channel blows up and you become a, you know, no name and you're making shit tons of money, you're stuck making nothing. And meanwhile, Machinima's raking in the dough off of you and you're stuck in a contract you can't leave. I imagine you might have heard one of your favorite YouTubers say at one point, I finally got out of my Machinima contract. Hypers in chat, if you've heard one of your favorite YouTubers say those words. Machinima was a fucking scam, and many other MCNs were too. Now, more recently, MCMs aren't as much of a worry because it's so much easier to just make a YouTube channel, get monetized, and make livable money off of YouTube without the help of a separate ent entity now. But people still fall for bad MCMs, but 
Now there's a few more trustworthy ones, I guess, but you really shouldn't join an MCN. My biggest advice I can give to you is stay solo on your content creation if you ever become a YouTuber. MCNs can put, like, requirements on how much you have to make content, how much you have to upload. They can get in the way of if you want to get on vacation or take days off. Just don't get with an MCN if you ever plan to make content as a YouTuber or streamer. <clears throat> so that was a big problem with YouTube. And then it happened with Twitch. Was it, like, Tifu who was getting, like, 50,000 viewers in his stream and making, like, shit tons of money each night streaming Fortnite and was making, like, $2,000 a month from his MCN, which was just harvest taking all the money that he was making? Was that Tifu who was on, like, the $50,000 a year contract? I might be thinking of someone else. It was, like, a really big Fortnite streamer back in the day, and it was, like, big news. MCNs then b proceeded to prey on these young teenage twitch streamers who are blowing up from their fortnite skills but had no real world experience and had boomer parents that didn't understand any of this and getting them to sign fucking contracts legal contracts thinking it's no big deal listen chat if anyone on the internet tries to get you to sign a legal contract it is a big deal read that shit even if it's for some internet stuff it's a big fucking deal read it read it it is a big deal. Read legal contracts all the way through. Um, these young teenage Fortnite players, these streamers, would get into these legal contracts that they didn't understand and lose out on literal millions. I have no doubt in my mind that that same exact issue extends to what this guy is doing. With, with this OnlyFans management agency? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, management agency. At best, this management agency, quote-unquote, is an MCN that is scamming its, uh, its users. Worst case scenario, it's literally a mask for his human trafficking operation. We're doing very, very well. And the idea that we would be out here desperate to scam people is obviously not true because we don't need to. We no, I don't lot. think it's a, it's I don't a, scam, a desperate it's a scam. scam. It's just yeah. an additional scam on top of the casinos you own cool. and numerous other things cool. that you just mentioned. You know, I mean, cause see, calling casinos a scam. I mean, well, yeah, casinos are rigged. I mean, there's a, there's a built-in bias to the game, of course. Yeah. Da, da, da. Normal. Um, no one's going to... Okay. Casinos are literally scams in their design. The fact that you run casinos... You just admitted to running 12 casinos. That's 12 scamming operations you're running, okay? Casinos, assuming they're physical locations, that's what I'm going to count all things here. They literally are built to not have windows, so you can't tell what time it is. No clocks. They pump extra oxygen into the rooms to make you sedated and lose track of time and get a little bit of time dilation. The games are obviously made for you to lose. The house always wins. It is quite literally an evil... Machiavellian uh, uh, money extracting machine that preys on humans, human addiction. Okay, being the kind of person who would run and operate something like that clearly demonstrates that you're lacking in any moral character. To sit here and say casino should be fair. I mean, maybe a socialist, but anyone with a brain wouldn't. The casinos oh, have a built, casinos have a built-in edge, of course. But uh, yeah, Hustlers University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one year anniversary today. 110,000 students in one year. So we're doing very, very well. We'll be a million students very, very shortly. I'll continue to be on everyone's feed. No one's going to get rid of me. I can't be banned. I haven't even got an account. And I, I own the internet. And uh, you can take. Okay. That's it. Famous last words. He will no doubt get banned. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on it. He ran away from the debate and wouldn't talk again until he had some cronies in the call to, like, defend him. That is hilarious. Wow, Hassan really did steamroll him there. Jesus Christ. Y'all weren't lying. Please watch the meme. Relevant Andrew Tate meme. All right. Andrew Tate explains the primary reason he moved to Romania. He enjoys getting away with rape. 40% of the reason I moved to Romania, because in Eastern Europe, none of this garbage. This is probably 40% of the reason I moved to Romania, because in Eastern Europe, none of this garbage flies. 
if you're going to go to the police and say he raped me back in 1988, they're going to say we should have done something about it then. If you go to the police and say he raped me yesterday, say, okay, have you got physical evidence? All right, is there CCTV proof? Where to happen? Okay, let's go interview him right now. And if it wasn't really right, oh, I said, oh, we went to the club, we got drunk, she agreed to go back to my house, we started having sex, and then we carried on having sex, and then we had sex, and she didn't say anything wrong, and then she texted me afterwards, and I didn't text back, and now she's saying I raped her. The police would be like, okay, she's an idiot, guy. But it, it, no, not in the West. In the West, you can tell them that exact story, you're still fucked. You're fucked in the West. When people say, why did it in Romania? And I explain my five reasons. One of them is the Me Too era. They go, oh, well, you're a rapist. I say, no, I'm not a fucking rapist. But I like the idea of being able to just say, to, to do what I want. I like being free. And if you're a man living in England or Germany or America or any of the Western world right now, you've decided to live in a country where any woman, any ex, any fucking bitch who works at Greg's who you bought a pasty from, at some point in the future can destroy your life. This Me Too era bullshit. Unless you're like me and built different. I'm 2-0 and right now. 2-0 and on the false allegations, okay? 2-0. and Maybe you're just bad at handling false allegations, my, my dude. Has not protected women. It's just destroyed the safety of men. Jesus Christ. Chat. What, am I not wrong? When I say that men's biggest fear is being falsely accused of rape by a woman, while women's biggest fear and much more reasonable fear is being actually getting raped. Anyway, if you enjoyed this segment, please consider leaving a like on the stream. It helps the stream out a lot more than you even realize whether you're watching it live after it's gone, you know, after I've ended stream, it's just a VOD, or if you're watching the segment after the fact, it helps my channel and the video a lot. And of course, if you want to see more from me, you can subscribe and hit the bell icon, turn on all notifications so YouTube actually tells you when I go live or upload a new video. And of course, if you want to see more from me on the internet, you can follow all of my social medias, especially my Twitter, where all the spiciest memes are, down in the description below. And if you want to support me financially, which you can do if you've got the money for it and don't need it for anything else, always make sure you look out for number one first. Don't go wasting your money on me if you need it for something else or you want it for something else. You can always support me financially by donating, subscribing, or gifting a sub on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or supporting me financially on YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, Patreon, or, well, yeah, that's it. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and have a good one.